LSU will snap it one more time. 32 seconds. Joe Burrow again. The snap. The knee. And the Tigers of LSU. A team of destiny. And a team for ages. Celebrate on the field here tonight in New Orleans inside the Superdome. Capturing the national title. night for New Orleans in the great state of Louisiana as LSU is back on top a splendid performance beat all four of the preseason top four teams finishing it off by winning against Clemson and taking the national championship and here to present the college football playoff national championship trophy is the executive director of the college football playoff Mr. Bill Hancock thank you Reese First, I want to congratulate both of these great football teams for their performance tonight and all during the regular season. And now on behalf of the conferences and schools who manage the college football playoff, it's my honor to present the national championship trophy to coach Ed Ogeron and the LSU Tigers. Like you often do, you almost immediately handed that trophy to the players. Everything about your program has been about the players. But I can see the pride in your eyes, the tears in your eyes. What's this like in this state that you care so much about to bring them a championship? You know, we love the state of Louisiana. I love this team. One team, one heartbeat, this coaching staff. Everybody that bled the purple and gold, the great state of Louisiana. This is for everybody. One team, one heartbeat, baby. At what point, at what point did you envision this being the goal, the ability of this team to win a championship? You know, I saw this team work for a year. We started working last January 17th. And at one point in the spring, when I saw our offense complete 80% of their passes on our great defense, I felt that we could have a great team. But when we made that third down and 17 against Texas, I felt like we had the players to win the championship. You said it was your goal to be the head coach at LSU. It's different to be the head coach and be a national champion. What is that like? Again, give credit to the players. I'm at the right place at the right time. You know, we get Joe Burrow, we get Joe Brady, Steve Ensminger, Dave Aranza, a Clyde Edwards Alaire, this offensive line that we have behind us. For sure, Lawrence, give them all the credit. Ed, congratulations, my friend. Well done. Maybe the greatest season that any team has had. Let's bring in Joe Burrow, the offensive player of the game, obviously. There hasn't been a quarterback in the history of this sport to have a season like you just completed. I heard you say your goal was never really to be a pro quarterback. It was to be a national champion quarterback. So how does that dream match up with what you're experiencing right now? Feels pretty good. Lots of years of hard work culminating into one moment with the best group of guys anybody could ask for. We've worked so hard for this. So many people put so much work into this from athletic trainers, equipment staff, players, coaches, chefs, dining room assistants. You know, it's, it's not just me or Coach O or the O-line. It's everybody in the, inside that building that, that gets a piece of this. Within the game tonight, when you guys go down double figures, what changed? Uh, I, I mean, we, there was no rah-rah speech on the sideline. There was no, hey, we got to get going. We knew what we had to do. We have a bunch of mature guys that understand the moment. We just had to go out and start executing better, and that's exactly what we did. They had a great plan coming in. 
Uh, once we figured it out, we started to roll, though. When you look back on this season and you've done everything is possible to do from a team standpoint, from an individual standpoint, what do you think this season, these last two years at LSU will mean to you? It's going to mean the world. This is what I wanted to do from the time I was five years old, was host, hoist this trophy. And bringing it back to Louisiana. I guess we're in Louisiana, but <laughs> staying in Louisiana, we weren't going to let someone come in here and steal this from us in our home state. We have a great, great fan base that came out and supported us. We're going to keep this thing right here. Joe, congratulations, man. Unbelievable season. Wish you all the best. Congratulations. The defensive player of the game, a guy who wreaked a lot of havoc for LSU tonight is Patrick Queen. Patrick, what, what you guys sort of figured out what Clemson was doing? What did you sense change for your defense against them? Uh, we just locked in, you know, we, we've been down it the whole season, you know, we just wanted to come out and prove a statement to everybody that we nothing to play with. Wait, no, you're definitely not anything to play with. What, when you look at what this team has accomplished, you beat all these teams that were ranked highly in the preseason. No team's ever beaten as many top five, top ten teams as you guys have. How do you put this season into perspective, what you just accomplished? Yeah, it's a season I'll never forget, man. You know, we just came in that season, we already knew what we was capable of. Uh, you know, Coach O told us what we was going to do, and... We, you know, he stood by his word, and we got this championship. What does it mean to you to win it here in New Orleans? It means the world, man, to win in our state that we love, and we thank you for all the support. Patrick, congratulations. A tremendous performance by that LSU defense tonight. Chris, I'll tell you, the accomplishments from LSU this year, it's hard to find a team in recent memory that has matched the accomplishments these guys have, and they are the national champions. Reese, thank you. We saw Steve Ensminger, offensive coordinator, and his son, Steve. A moment of triumph for that family in a time of tragedy. And a smile from Steve Jr. Those haven't been too plentiful in recent days. What a night for the great state of Louisiana. And as Orgeron and Burroughs said, and the familiar LSU chant echoing inside the Superdome, and the party will spill out to the French Quarter and go until the sun comes up, and then some. School's out today and tomorrow at LSU. Go ahead and take the rest of the week off. Why not? No doubt.